In the 1990s, the Tomb Raider video game series took the world by storm, featuring the iconic Lara Croft, a fearless adventurer armed with dual pistols. Hollywood couldn't resist the allure and produced two films starring Angelina Jolie, though the reception was mixed. In 2018, a darker and grittier reboot emerged, starring Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft, captivating fans with her quest to uncover the truth about her missing father and the clandestine organization known as Trinity. Since then, the anticipation for a sequel has been fervent, but the path to its realization has been riddled with obstacles, with Amazon Video being involved. So let's embark on a thrilling exploration to unravel the mystery of whether a Tomb Raider sequence will ever see the light of day or will Amazon's reboot of the Tomb Raider franchise be the exhilarating leap that Lara Croft's adventures need, or will it leave fans yearning for the original Tomb Raiding icon? Since the movie was released, fans have been wondering when we could see Alicia Vikander back on the big screen, climbing cliffs, raiding lost tombs and taking down the baddies. The prospect of a sequel has been much talked about, and more than one attempt has been made, but we're still left with nothing to show for it. Well, grab your bow and arrow, roll up your map and don't forget the first aid kit, because we're going on a quest to explore the question of whether a sequel to Tomb Raider will ever happen. A sequel was in the works for a 2021 release, but it quickly hit a snag with the outbreak of COVID-19 in early 2020, just as things were apparently ramping up. Those days may have cost them a sequel because in 2022, Amazon acquired MGM, which forced the franchise into a complicated legal limbo and lapsed the rights. Now let's talk about casting. If there is a Tomb Raider sequel, it will undoubtedly star Alicia Vikander, who played Lara Croft in the original film. With a sequel in the works, there is no word in 2019 on whether Vikander would reprise the role, with people reporting that it was still unclear whether she would return. But that question was answered when the actress officially signed on and began publicly discussing the sequel. Unfortunately, the majority of her comments focused on the lengthy delay. The plan was for us to start making one this year, she told Good Morning America in October 2020. Aside from Vikanda, little is known about who else from the cast might have returned in this proposed sequel, though an unverified report in 2020 did suggest that Kristen Scott Thomas would return and play a much larger role. In the 2018 film, the actress played Anna Miller, Lara's mentor and a colleague of her father. Anna is a bigger bad in the video games, and according to the rumor, she would have been bumped up to the main villain for the sequel, which had been teased at the close of the first film. Let's talk about the crew. Tomb Raider, which was directed in 2018 by Roar Uthog, a relatively unknown Norwegian filmmaker, who a few years ago directed the cult hit Troll. The action film was written by Geneva Roberts and Warit in her feature film debut alongside co-writers Evan Dofferty and Alistair Siddons. Roberts and Warit went on to work on Captain Marvel, but neither she nor Uthog were expected to return for a sequel to Tomb Raider once production began. Instead, Amy Jump was hired as the second film's writer in 2019 and Ben Wheatley was hired as director. However, as the film's delays mounted, the studio made significant changes to the crew behind the camera, dismissing both Amy Jump and Ben Wheatley from the project. They were replaced by writer Misha Green, who was announced to write and direct the sequel in 2021, though no reason for the change in filmmakers was given. Nonetheless, Green got to work right away and by May, she was tweeting to her followers that the first draft of the script was finished, but that there was still a long journey to production. Long was an understatement, as production never began. With the film scrapped and a new version planned, if a sequel is ever made, it may require a new script and a new director. What would a Tomb Raider sequel entail? Nobody but those involved knows what the sequel would have been about if it had been directed by Ben Wheatley and written by Amy Jump. However, rumors have circulated over the years that what might have happened in a version written by Misha Green, which was pieced together from various tidbits that leaked during production and after the film was cancelled. In addition to speculation that Kristen Scott Thomas would reprise her role as the film's main antagonist, audiences got a sneak peek at some of the action in late 2022 when storyboards from the film were leaked. On Twitter in September of that year, storyboard artist Jake Lunt Davies shared a series of images he would create for the project. They did not reveal much of the plot, but they did show a thrilling sequence that could have started the story with a daring attack on Croft Manor carried out by shadowy agents. Before entering the manor, masked men cut wires to the manor's security or power systems. Inside, Lara throws a spear at one of the intruders before being pinned down in a fierce firefight and sustaining foot injuries from broken glass. 
Given the ending of the 2018 Tomb Raider and Anna Williams' rumoured larger role, it's possible that this raid was planned by Lara Croft's mentor, sparking quests that would take her to various locations to discover the truth. Finally, let's talk about the franchise's future. It's not a pandemic, problems with the script or scheduling conflicts with the actors that are preventing a sequel to 2018's Tomb Raider. Instead, it's the announcement of a reboot of the franchise in early 2023. This is due to MGM's loss of rights following its acquisition by Amazon, with an apparent bidding war taking place for the opportunity to start over. The winners of that war ironically were Amazon, which quickly announced grand plans for a total reboot of the film, with a new actor replacing Alicia Vikander. The deal was significant for the streaming service, as it included much more than just the rights to make a feature film. While no figures were released, The Hollywood Reporter speculated that it was comparable to the $250 million deal for The Lord of the Rings. The announcement followed the announcement that Amazon would enter the video game publishing business, releasing the next Tomb Raider console game from developer Crystal Dynamics. As of press time, no writer, let alone a director or a star, has been announced for the film. But that does not mean that Amazon has not begun work on the project. In fact, they have made larger plans that could result in an explosion of Tomb Raider across multiple media platforms. After acquiring the rights to a Tomb Raider adaptation, Amazon has revealed plans for a big screen reboot, but that's not all. The film will be only one thread in a larger tapestry, with plans to expand the franchise into a full-fledged cinematic universe. To that end, they announced a Tomb Raider TV series as a streaming original, with plans for the show and film to be tightly integrated with each other and the previously announced video game relaunch. Even more exciting, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, the three-time Emmy Award-winning creator and writer of Fleabag's star of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, and co-writer of the 2021 James Bond film No Time to Die, will spearhead the effort behind the scenes. According to the trades, Waller-Bridge will write the series but will not appear in the film, and while many fans may have assumed that she will play Lara Croft, that does not appear to be the case. Michaela J. Rodriguez is one of the actors who has volunteered to play the title role. I would like to tackle a role like Lara Croft, she told Variety. While the prospect of a Tomb Raider sequel has piqued fans' interest, its realization has remained elusive. Delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, legal issues arising from the Amazon MGM acquisition and changes in the cast and crew have all slowed the project's progress. With a new actor set to play Lara Croft in a rebooted franchise under Amazon's ambitious plans for a cinematic universe, the future of Tomb Raider appears to be changing. Fans eagerly await the next chapter in Lara Croft's daring exploits, whether on the big screen, in a TV series or in the realm of video games, as the adventure continues. This marks the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure that you like and share it. Let us know your opinions in the comment section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one.